That's why all the Catholic charities, which are NGOs, distribute all the money cards and benefits and they're getting paid to do it in the archdiocese and up. It's sick. It's very sick. And it's been going on a long time, this whole, all the people that are involved, all the NGOs involved from every sector. The Border Health Consortium of California forming a binational California, Baja California entity to address health of a border region, a case study. So uh, this was way back in the early 2000s. And on the surface of this, it would seem like it's no big deal, right? But see, this is how you get a bunch of socialists. Again, they create all these. And a lot of this is public health. As you can see up there, it says frontiers, frontiers in public health. So public, it's all wrapped up in that public, the globalism, public health. It, it, all of these agencies are, it's just about destroying our country. And think about how many people, it's why I'm just, it's, it's an embarrassment that the professional organizations of nursing supported open borders. And they won't back off on it because they're, they're, they're globalists. But, um, and it, it's twisted. It, think about how many, we don't even have the full number yet of how many Americans have died because of Kamala Harris. Because at the very least, she was incompetent, irresponsible with not addressing the border. But I, I believe it's much deeper than that. It's because these people want to destroy America. Because it, it makes absolutely no sense. And this um, California consortium has been meeting since I said it, like the early 2000s. And so this was just a little bit of what it has to do with. The panel discussion focused on global health security, particularly in the Middle East, North Africa region, East Africa, and the southern U.S. border. The conversation explored the complexities of cross-border public health surveillance, highlighting the urgent need for seamless data integration and information sharing among nations, as well as the development of unified policies to strengthen global health security. Global health security? What? Like, this is the reason we have, we're under this surveillance state, too, and we have all of the professional health agencies I mean, not just the agencies of the federal government, but all of their entities that are at the association level that all are on board with this. It, it, it's mind blowing to me that any any healthcare profession or pro professional thinks that it, because most you know, would think, well, of course we need to do this on a global le level. Not when you see after years and decades now that the health care in the country you live in is getting worse. That means, no, you tackling it on some big level isn't the answer. But I don't think that's why they did this. They're using health. They're using it to destroy America. They're using, they're, 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 we have to um, be involved at the border level. Uh, that's when it was alarming to me when Trump was in office and I saw pictures of National Nurses United at the border. Oh, acting like, you know, when AOC had to have her photo op there at the border of, oh, it's horrible what Trump's doing. And they used pictures from Obama's administration where he did have people in cages. I mean, so that's what National Nurses United did too is they were at the border, oh, look at what Trump's doing. And I thought, what it, the hell is the matter with you people? Why would you lie like this? Why are you, you trying to, you, you are literally using health and, 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 and convincing people in the nursing profession and other professions that because you have 25 letters after your name, that you somehow know that this is best, no. Is nobody in healthcare not able to see that we had better health care? We had better hospital systems, better. Um, we had staff. We had good teamwork. I mean, we actually had an ethical system 50 years ago. I mean, well, many people weren't alive then. But, you know, I, it, it's not hard to look the data up. Should look it up before they change it. 
And they this is from that same article, academic institutions and organizations worldwide dedicated to addressing global health issues. Their main mission is to empower academic entities. Yeah, all the academic entities that don't support America's values too. Because they never are these... I've, I've said before, I've never seen any major a university, any Ivy League university for sure, but most any of them that support America's values. That is ever a patriotic university for America. Um, collaborative partners to improve well-being of individuals and plan and the planet through education, research, service, and advocacy. This year's conference featured 57 speaker sessions and plenaries and hosted over 2,000 attendees, including scientists, students, implementers, and professionals from academia, NGOs, gover government, and the private sector, reflecting a diverse and widespread. And then this goes on to talk about the, the California border region. But this is how they've been doing it. It is through public health, through the private sector, through non-governmental organizations, NGOs. Yet yeah, they've been at this for a long time. And and see again here, the five right below my finger, the five components needed to achieve collective impact include a shared vision, mutually reinforcing activities. Continuous communication, consistent measurement, and a and a coordinating or backbone organization. And this is just, it's on and on. They, this is 2009, across borders, leading nursing internationally. So these nursing professional organizations have been on board with this forever, okay, for a long, long time. That's why they're not going to back off. That's why they, they're, they're making... The, them setting the standard of care, whoever these leaders are at the top of nursing and the medical profession, are deliberately doing this to our healthcare system because of being globalists and supporting the destruction of America. Because what is all this stuff about global health surveillance? Well, it goes back to this. U.S. bans sale of Huawei. ZTE tech amid security fears. Yeah, now this was 2022, but as I've said in other videos, Trump had blacklisted seven telecom companies, okay? And one of them uh, is in this article about its DUA. And I reported cameras that Northwestern Hospital put in the week of lockdowns that were thermal cameras. And Trump had blacklisted that, that, the company they went back to. But the FBI didn't care, the DOJ didn't care, no news media, neither your alternative didn't care either, by the way. So it wasn't just mainstream that didn't care. But again, the only people that contacted me and or left me a voicemail message was the White House, somebody at the White House. Because it was in 2020, I had reported them. So then this comes out in 2022. Well, that's great. Why didn't why didn't um, the State Department uh, or DOJ care when I reported in 2020? Because since that uh, since then, there's been stuff like this that's happened at Northwestern, no less. Northwestern Memorial Hospital secretly disclosed, disclosed patients' medical info, info to Meta. Class action alleges. So, and this was I. This wasn't like in the last couple of years. And and they, it was supposedly through um, some chip or something they had in their computer system. So when all of these hospitals now are doing this this surveillance stuff and it's all talk their global health is all about, you know, data surveillance and wanting your data, then don't think that any of these people have good intentions for anybody. And if you go a little where it says unbeknownst, unbeknownst to patients, um, Northwestern has allegedly installed in the portal piece of computer code known as MetaPixel that, according to the suit, is designed to gather information about the user. So like when you use, you go online to make your appointments or look up your, you know, your test results or any of that, your medical record, that's how they've done it. Look at how much 
um, uh, uh, hacking has gone on at the um, at the hospital levels. Uh, all designed because it all goes back to global health, communists.